Hi guys, it's me from Ian and Jam, and today I've finally beaten Castle of Illusion, sorry, Mickey Mouse, remake. A remake of the 1990 Mega Drive game uh, with the same name basically, which is Mickey Mouse Castle of Illusion, or Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. And Nothing going through the, the whole the remake, of was I happy if with it, or was no I disappointed? Undone with it in any way shape and form was it good was it bad was it an absolute anus of a game or was it an absolute masterpiece of a remake well join me in this review to check out what i think of castle evolution starring mickey mouse okay so what's the story well if you played the original mega drive version you probably already know it already basically it's about Mickey and Minnie having a picnic in a field when a witch named Miserable pops up and takes Minnie away due to the fact she's got good looks and she wants to take him away. Realising that Mickey's been taken, Mickey follows Minnie and Miserable to the Castle of Illusion. So that's the story really and if you do remember the old Mega Drive version as I just said you would know it's exactly the same, no change whatsoever, which is brilliant that they kept it to the exact same point. Alright, one of the main things that was really good about the original was its gameplay, with smooth and solid platforming it had. And what does the uh, remake have? Exactly the same. Beautiful, amazing platforming, uh, really constructed well from the original. I will say they did change a bit, a few bits of the uh, gameplay by stopping Mickey from doing a bit of momentum after you stop moving, which I think is good. And I really am glad they did that because it was a bit that kind of made it feel a bit choppy on the gameplay to me, but not a whole lot, just a very small minority of the gameplay and another thing about the remake is that the gameplay is actually all in a 2.5D platform which is great because you can see some great visuals in this game I mean this game has beautiful visuals and I'll get to that in a minute that they are just fantastic but with the gameplay um, you might also remember that in the original that you had to double tap a button to but stomp enemies. In this game, it's automatic. You jump on an enemy, they get burnt, stomped, and they disappear, and you obviously progress in the game. So that's the thing that I really like about the game, that you don't have to press the burn twice, it's more fluent that way. And also, uh, you can still throw items, like such as candles, apples, uh, marbles, etc. Which is, again, great, because it's obviously following the same perspective of what happened in the original and a great thing also about this game is that the animation on Mickey is brilliant just if you can remember the original Mega Drive version of this game how fluent his animation was you know like everything was moving it wasn't like still he was always constantly doing some sort of animation Mickey this they really perfected this because every time you stand still, he looks around like very confused about where he is and what he's doing here, which is absolutely brilliant. And even when he's ducking, he looks shocked at why he's ducking and looks worried. That, it just looks absolutely brilliant how they've really, uh, you know, how they've really captured the original, which I was really surprised that they did. So what about the designs of the levels? Well, the designs of the levels are not the same as the originals. Which is not a bad thing, because these levels are really, really well created. You can tell that these people put so much time and effort of thinking of how to implement every element of the original into the, these bigger, bigger worlds. I mean, for example, I'll give you this. You know if you play the original where you have to go inside the trees and there's all them spiders well in this one you have to go through a door that takes you there and it's not the same way you jump on platform to platform no literally it's like Mickey's being shrunk down in size I mean they even reference that in the game and 
you know, you ride leaves like you did in the original, but you also duck under like tree branches, you fall uh, from a good distance and a height. And after that, you start jumping on them spiders from the original. And it just gets more weirder every time. I mean, like there's bits where you have to go jump on falling leaves and then ride some more leaves. It's great and that you have to go on like branches and twigs just to get somewhere else in the level. It was great just to see how it's changed and they've made this game much bigger than it was on the Mega Drive which is oh my god it was incredible how they designed these levels and even the Toyland I will say this the Toyland, I mean, people do remember the first half of the Toyland where you go up the top, 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 and then the key's there, and then you go down. If you've played the original, you remember that. On this one, they do exactly that, but they implement near enough every single enemy in it. Even the clown that just doesn't pop up in that level at all is in it, and it works so geniusly. I mean, the bit where the clown comes by, you're just circling around this giant robot and I think it's a giant robot. Yeah, I'm saying it's a giant robot. And how that whole space you were walking around, how much wide open it was. It's a good spot to put them in and where they've put that, that was great. And also keep going up the building blocks from like the original. They did keep that in and you still have to collect the key and then fall right 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 down which again is absolutely brilliant that they did keep it prior to the original which I think you know because cause I know that a lot of people that do remakes don't properly follow the original they do their own designs they do do their own designs but they really captured what was so great about Castle of Illusion on this Okay, let's talk about the music. And surprisingly, the music is done by Grant Kirkup. And if you don't know Grant Kirkup, it's basically he did some of the greatest music for Rare back in the days of the 90s and early 2000s. Uh, games such as GoldenEye 007 for the N64, Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tooie, Perfect Dark, and also oh Grab by the Goodies, and such more games. And trust me, this, he doesn't change for this game. He keeps it to the bubbly, upbeat tunes that you could recognise from his layer compositions. I mean, some of the music I would say I could basically hear Rap by the Ghoulies and Banjo because he was in it. And it just it felt so good to hear some of my favourite childhood music come back into a game that was also one of my childhood games and you can tell he put so much passion in these tunes and recreating some of them and I will say some is just amazing it sounds beautiful and every time I was listening to music I smiled because I can remember listening to this song and you know thinking this suits so great with this level when I was a kid and then when hearing it again done by Grant Kirkhoff. It sounds even better. Not, well, I wouldn't say as better as the originals because, you know, it was the original. I think that still sounds great, but it's still a perfect match. Okay, this is the main bit everyone wants to know about this remake. Is it better than the original? Or is the original still supreme ruler of all? Well, to me, and this is just my opinion, is I think they're both as good as each other. I know it sounds weird, but they are as good as each other. Because, yeah, I know it's a remake of the original 1990 Sega Mega Drive version, but you gotta think of it this way. There was multiple versions of this game. I know there was some on, like, I think it was the Mega, the Master System. There's one of the Master System and Saturn, which I think the Saturn version was just the original. And you gotta think that there was more, there was different types of this game, and you can't really say which one was like, you know, which one was the original Mickey Mouse Castle of Illusion. 
Granted, people think the Mega Drive version is, and that's the one it's basing itself off. But it does it in a way that it tries to keep it to the original. It tries to add, do a bit of a twist for itself, you know. As in since, like, obviously there's a plot twist. No, it means like a twist as in, you know, tries to change up the game a bit, not to make it as a remake. Even the original director of the game said that she, she saw multiple versions of the same of the original game that she didn't like and they were, that other companies were trying to remake and she didn't like them but only so, uh, Sega Australia got it right with making it as a overall different game but with the same unique style and feel and that's what I like about it, it is the same original game but with its own unique style and feel that none of the levels are the same as the original game but they keep the same elements as the original game like Forest Devil has the apple that follows you same with the book uh, I think I call it the book level same as the book level that has the rolling apple and that still keeps it and the coffee cups and that. they keep it all the same and which is what I like about it but as I said it uses its own uh, unique uh, designs and all that with it too but it does keep itself to the original and which I think is really good that's why I like them both at the same time because it takes risks and the risks it took were good risks I mean when I first saw it I, I didn't have much to I didn't really know what to think about it because when I heard it was not like it wasn't a exact remake of the original I thought okay that's not gonna be that good but then when you play it you realize how amazing it really is and how much it trib how much of a tribute it is to the original but it's very hard to explain until you actually play it but you would understand that it does it does do justice to the original and it is as good as the original is overall castle evolution sorry mickey mouse the 2013 remake is brilliant absolute bliss of a game I couldn't believe and how much it surprised me when playing it it's it's incredible it's absolutely incredible I love it the whole atmosphere the lighting the colors the whole Walt Disney feel to it, it it's so amazing it feels just like the original and I was smiling through the whole game I really was smiling it was freaking great anyway guys this is me making a short review of castle evolution Story Mickey Mouse sorry about some of the um, bloopers and how I pronounced and uh, also described things I'm really I'm sorry if that didn't make sense uh, I did try my best uh, I'm, I was pretty much uh, <laughs> I was pretty much uh, winging it through shall I say but I was tr I was so happy about this game that I just wanted to make this review I really did so that's why that, I guess that's a good re uh, a good point to the game too that it was that good that I had to make a review and how great it was anyway guys this is me so now have a nice day guys and happy gaming <laughs>